Tonight, Dave jumps on some rocks. I have some road rage. Overtake the cars! And Dave goes, whoa! Hello and welcome back to the show. Now, tonight it's one of our epic challenges once again. But this time, it's a bit different because it's one big film. In fact, what we were told to do was meet up at the Los Santos docks and buy a car and a boat under the budget of $50,000. We would then race to the top of the map, change vehicles and drive back to where we started. The winner would simply be whoever got there first. This is what happened. Right, so for this challenge, me and Dave have been given a budget of $50,000. And for this price, not only did we have to buy a car, but we had to buy a boat as well. This is because, whilst one of us is driving to Polito Bay, the other one will be driving a boat. Then when we get to Polito Bay, we will then be swapping vehicles. So if I'm driving to Polito Bay, I will be coming back on a boat. Dave, on the other hand, shall be going to Polito Bay on a jet ski, and then coming back in a car. So. For fifty thousand dollars, Dave, what's your chosen vehicle of choice? Your boat. My you chosen choice. vehicle of choice is just over this fence down there. You've got a speed of um, The correct term is a sea shark. That, well, that's the brand it. name, correct? But that uh, the name of a model in particular is indeed Sea Shark. You know what? Another well, my vehicle. Uh, Let's have a look at yours. What have you got for me? I have the best vehicle for less than $50,000. This, my friend, is the Declasa Asa. Okay. <laughs> it is. I'm not mispronouncing that, I, I think. Um, yeah, it cost me $12,000, which meant I have a lot more money to spend on buying myself a boat. Okay. Because I I know this will get me to where I want to go. However, I needed something fast to beat whatever you've got. Because I'm assuming that speed of ball wasn't very much. Right, are you ready, Dave? Um, maybe I am, maybe I'm not. Right, okay. So, three, two, one, go! Why am I walking in the car? Go! No! I, am, I fell I already! I haven't put a wave fight down. It's intending not to fall into. Right. Okay. Uh, okay. Now I should mention a quick rule of thumb. Uh, the car has to drive around the right side of the map whilst the boat goes around the left. This will then be swapped when we change vehicles, in which Dave will come around the right side of the map in his car, and I will go down the left side of the map in my boat. Try not to crash here. Work their neck. There was a risk. So whilst Dave was tackling with the rocks, I had run into a problem of my own. Come on, car! Go faster! It was incredibly slow. This isn't easy to control. Here we go. This is a sport I like to call traffic weaving. Here we go. Here we go. Traffic weaving. Here we go. We're gonna go in here. And we're gonna come out this way. Oh! Oh, that gap's too small. Damn it. Futo drivers, ladies and gentlemen. Closing the gap since they were a fetus. Because everyone knows only hipsters drive futos. I guess the only good thing about driving the car to the top of the map is that you can really get a chance to just explore and relax and look at the scenery. And then Dave decided to get a much closer look at the scenery. Oh god, this is a risk, this is a risk! Heck, be really careful about this, because if this does land on land, pretty much, then I am utterly screwed and I won't too much have no substitute. Oh dear, I have to go around this. Come on, car. You got this. Then Dave decided to beat up Mother Nature. We. Okay, maybe not islands, but rocks. <laughs> Considering this car was $12,000, I'm actually very, very happy with it. It's going like a stabbed rat! Not that you should stab rats, children. That's a... No. Don't do that. Petter will get on your ass and then they will sue you. Now, the reason I've chosen this particular bow is that this jet ski is pretty much designed purely 
the speed. Come on! Overtake the cars! And knowing that Tom Matthews can, um, does have quite a lot more to spend, I have a feeling he's spent his money on something, you know, that'll be a lot more luxurious, but nowhere near as fast. Now the best thing about a cheap car on this game is when you get an expensive car and you're driving around the city, you can't use all of its horsepowers. You buy something like this and put your foot down, every single horse is galloping, it is raging. You are going flat out everywhere you go. But at this point, I had realised I had reached the halfway point and that Dave was nowhere to be seen. Paint spray, right. Let's ring for my Pegasus. Oh no, that slowed me down quite a lot. And let's go through the grave. Whoa! Oh, that was a mistake. Power! Oh, that didn't go good. That did not go good. Oh god, that's sad there. It was at this moment that I thought it would be a great idea to try and rugby tackle a fence. Through the fence! Whoa, upside down! Right, so now I should be able to ring for my car. Oh, yes! It will do. Uh, I can't bring it right now, boss. What do you mean you can't bring it right now? We're off! Where the heck is my car? Oh, what the hell? Well, the advertisement certainly, um, forgot about the other half. I've got to make up as much time as possible with this boat, because I guarantee you that speed of bar that they had is a lot faster than this. However, to slow me down even more, there are gigantic waves right now. The sea is breaking like mad. Now, I know that half of a car isn't even present. This looks like something dragged out of the 1930s Mafia. And this costs probably five cents. But, there's one important aspect about this car. It's ginger. Meaning, it has no soul. It doesn't need to abide by the rules of the road. So thankfully, I can just speed past everyone. Quite happily. I'm beating everybody with a $5 car from the 1930s. That doesn't leave a bad impression on every other car, I don't know what will. I need to be honest with you here viewers, I'm a I'm a car enthusiast and I love them, but when it comes to boats, I don't really know that much. And to be honest with you, I'm kind of running out of things to say. So um, it, it's got an outboard motor on the back, it's got enough seats for four people, and it goes rather fast, I think. I don't know, there's no speedometer or anything on it. In fact, they only put down a waypoint to where I'm even going. However, the lead I once had had now gone due to the fact that Dave had managed to catch up during his drive back to the city. In fact, both of us were entering the city at almost the exact same time, thus meaning we were the exact same distance away from the finishing point. Oh, this is much better. The water is smoother, it is calmer. This is the kind of water I want to be driving. Excuse me. Why are the waves being so brutal? Shit, no. Ah, oh, why is it stopped for steering? I don't know where he is on my map. I can see him, but he doesn't seem to be anywhere near. Bravo! Well done! Good job! I hate you. Yeah! One on one, baby! I mean, um, yeah, um, well, yes, um, not to gloat or anything, but, um, quite frankly, I think Tom had a bit of an unfair... Uh, uh, Tom? And on that bombshell, it's time to end the show. Thank you very much for watching. Tune in next week. Goodbye.